Hello, people, and welcome to another Fiction Radio. Today we have with another episode with Shinja. And today we're going to be talking about uh, a really cool anime called Hunter x Hunter or Hunter x Hunter or Hunter x whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, Shinja, um, will you tell us a little bit about Hunter x Hunter? Sure. Uh, Hunter x Hunter or Hunter x Hunter, however you want to pronounce it, uh, was uh, it starts off with this young boy. He's our protagonist. His name is Gon. And he lives in this rural village, you know, out in the country. He's just, you know, fishing, mind his, his own business. Um, but he has a dream to become a hunter in this world, uh, just like his father was. He's heard many stories uh, about uh, hunters from a good friend of his father's. And he wants to just go out explore the world and become a big hunter he himself doesn't really know what a hunter is it's very vague at the beginning mm -hmm. they say a lot of like oh they're just good people that go out and do stuff they discover things and that's all like they really say there's no really like specific um definition of a hunters all they say is really like they get licenses and stuff that let them travel the world wherever they please and it, it's just very convenient to be a hunter um, but the anime is very misleading at the beginning because it seems kind of like it's going to be fun. It's going to be calm, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's very like slice of life ish almost in a way. Um, but you'll soon discover that the whole anime, it, it's kind of an action. Anime. So you like fighting, uh, you like a little bit of intense drama. Uh, Hunter Hunter is really, really great. Yes. So, um, let's see, where, where 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 can we start? Let's see, our favorite character. So, Shinjo, who is your favorite character in this anime? Oh, man, there's so many to choose from, but, like, the one I immediately just think of is... <laughs> yeah, the, the first one I think of is Kilua. Like, Kilua, yeah. <laughs> especially him, like, evolving and, like, how, how much he changes, you know. Um, he, he is my by far my favorite character uh gurapika would be a close second yeah. but he gets a little weird yeah he, he does <laughs> <laughs> um but uh yeah uh i i, I freaking love Hila. he's such a badass in the anime yeah um and uh it it's uh it's usually the younger characters you can yes. relate to anyway you know in a way um the the older ones are kind of like always like too cocky or like yeah oh, way too know. cocky yeah <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah uh, good up what about yours um well I think we're on the same page here because I also like um uh Kirua and uh, who who was this name's uh the butler from Kirua's mansion. What was his name? The, uh, the the guy with the with the with dimes and you know he was like, uh, yeah, what was his name again? <laughs> I I completely forget. Yeah, you know, it was a long time ago. I about. mean, um, Hunter Hunter. Um, it first came out in the 1998 anime, uh, back in the 90s, mm -hmm. and it ended with uh, Greed Island on the early 2000s. Um, it's just because of the hiatus, of course, it, it began. <laughs> the hiatus began before it was, you know, before it was so mainstream right now. Because Tagashi yeah. himself has been, like, in pain, and he's, uh, you know, he's he getting old. But, uh, you know. The, the poor man. You know, yeah. He, like, people were, like, especially when it was at its height of popularity. People yes. were just, like, clamoring for, like... Uh, like new episodes or just even the next manga volume and like it wouldn't like come out because you know he's the poor man's like dying basically exactly. yeah exactly uh, um it, it's just because but, uh, it's shonen jump is weekly and it's the pressure of these manga codes that are you know pressure to like release uh chapters uh, within a week so yeah um, yeah, but he, he just, he's just not physically able to. But 
because of that, like when it does come out, it like, sells so much. It like mm -hmm. I, I remember Attack on Titan and Third Art Online were like really popular, like uh, around the same time. Mm -hmm. And Hunter Hunter still had spot number one, one in the sales yeah. for its like latest volume compared to like Attack on Titan. Exactly. This is just so crazy. So then it got reboot, a reboot on 2011. Like it mm -hmm. was like at least 11 years or so after Greed Island, uh, because that, I think that was the last arc back in the day that it just stopped there because of the hiatus. And then it came yeah. back. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I was really hype about it because I used to watch Hunter x Hunter on this channel, anime channel and direct TV back in 2006 and 7 uh, in Animax. I really loved that and they took it out, but uh, yeah, I, I I really got inspired by that anime. I, that anime taught me a lot of things, just like Yu Yu Hakusho, but this this one is, uh, is really, it has very unique characters. Um, like you said, Shinji, I think the, the younger characters are the most that are, you know, appealing to you know with us i mean it's uh they, they have yeah. more screen time too um yeah <laughs> that's uh, true so um, it, it, it's weird because at first you think uh it's like a kid and it's very there's kiddish themes mm -hmm. but then there's this whole like maturity and yeah, this uh, is no babyly calling to <laughs> yeah there's, there's there's a call to maturity a call to grow up throughout the whole series and so like as a young like like as a teenager basically mm -hmm, watching mm -hmm. that it was like kind of inspiring you know it's like very motivating so i think it's very good for younger audiences uh and then obviously for young adults it kind of relatable in a way moving out of the house you're out in the world on your own and you know you're you have to grow up all of a sudden you know so, exactly exactly very relatable in that aspect yeah indeed um and it's not like other you know shonen this this is a really legit uh, really good mangaka uh togashi is a really good writer and uh, as a you know as a writer himself he he actually uh he, he made other uh anime uh, besides yu yu Hakusho. show he made a comedy one um but this one is it has been the most successful today and uh, i think uh there's this other other thing that um, Togashi actually, you know, did when he came back, um, of course, uh, the 2011 one was actually animated by Madhouse. And yeah, there's a bit of controversy with the yeah. whole thing. <laughs> I mean, Madhouse is not cheap. Let's just be real. <laughs> yeah, no, they're, they're not cheap. Their animation looks good. Yeah. But uh, there was a lot of censorship. Totally a sense. Yeah, that was a, yeah, because it was it was airing in a time that uh, let's just say kids will watch, but uh, whatever. Well, it's just what well, we can eh. jump into this deeper, but uh, like you know, Japan has always had strict censorship laws. Yeah, that they've too. especially been getting more like strict with that, and it's kind of random sometimes. Especially with an anime like mm -hmm. Hunter Hunter where. Like it's it, very kid friendly, mm -hmm, or it looks yeah. kid friendly, At and the then all of a sudden yeah. it has like yeah something really like disturbing happening. So like I'm gonna talk about one scene in specific that yeah, like, yeah. a lot of people complain about. <laughs> There's a scene in the original anime for this. The 1990, 1998. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this character kills another character by taking their heart out i love that part <laughs> and they that. hold it in their hand yeah. in front of him and i can't remember if they squeeze it or not but the, you can see the heart in their mm -hmm. hand yeah and so like the blood that's not really yeah <laughs> that's not really like family friendly yeah you know? <laughs> <laughs> It's really grim. It's YouTube, like, oh. YouTube today will take that down right now. <laughs> yeah, that that would be like an act of terrorism. On yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm joking, but uh, so the uh, the 2011's reply to this was okay. Let's just put it in a doggy bag, <laughs> so you can't see it. You know it's a heart because yeah. you can see it beating still, but it's in a little like brown doggy bag, mm -hmm. and he just puts it on the floor in front of him like okay so it's still 
It's still badass because he fucking ripped his heart out mm-hmm. without the dude even noticing. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's it, it kind of changes the tone pretty drastically because you know you go from like oh this is a twisted demented person to oh he's twisted and demented but he's okay. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> and uh, like they did some other minor changes. Like, yeah, they, uh, they totally in the did. 2000, well, I say minor, but there is one big change in the very first episode. They cut a character completely out from the first episode, which a lot of people argue whether yeah. it, he it was a good or bad decision. So, uh, it's it, I don't think it affects the viewing experience too much. I would recommend people watch the 1998 anime first. Yeah, totally. And then, uh, like, pick up the 2011 anime once it catches up to it. Mm-hmm. Um, but whatever is most convenient. I think everyone's going to enjoy the anime, like, either way. Whatever. Yeah. They... The, the convenient thing about the new one is that there's dubs. So if you totally, enjoy dubs, yeah. you can watch it like that. Yeah, um, th- there's a... Um... Um, about the animation, um, there's, uh, uh, of course, I mean, it's, um, it's, it's different, uh, how do I say this? It, it's, it's in different times. In 98, it's totally different from 2000, you know, late 2000, 2010. And, uh, <laughs> I, and I know that a lot of people, you know, got pissed off. I, I didn't. I mean, I was like, I just want to at least watch, you know, this, this anime once again. Because it's it's part of my life too, uh, and I read the mangas, and uh, I just wanted to see it, you know, on the screen once again, and people appreciate this anime. And of course, uh, they change, uh, you know, uh, some couple of stuff, and the part that you mentioned, um, Shinja, about the the heart, and the <laughs> I think I think he actually, uh, I don't, th- I think he threw it away. <laughs> Yeah, I can't, I can't yeah, remember. I, I can't it, remember it, either, it's but pretty, like, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cruel in a way. Yeah, like you can't feel bad all, for the guy who died. Like you, you, you watch it and you're like, okay, that that was that was cool, man. Like, but it, it you know, it's got it's graphic for some people. Yeah, and there's there's um, other uh, in the 1998. Um, I think uh, the Hunter X Hunter is more like really hardcore martial arts, and. Uh, there's a, uh, um, they explain a lot of you know an anatomy parts of the human body where the actual you know secret p- pressure points are and all of that and like man this is this this anime is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, a few animes do that a bit. Like I learned like some like uh ha- like Hajime no Ippo for example. Uh, yeah. I learned some stuff from there about like oh if you hit someone right here it's going to really hurt them or it's going to mess them up in weird ways. And I was like, okay, that's interesting to know. I probably wouldn't be able to do it myself, but (laughs) that's interesting that I know that now. Thanks to anime. So, you know, despite the censorship, this, this anime is uh, really great and it, you know, fulfills its own uh, genre. Uh, It's like adventure type of action, martial arts and, uh, it has a lot of a lot of you know the even the the bad guys here um and, and the the most thing that i really love about this anime is and we talk about the you know uh Akilua, but his family himself it's just like man his family is so good and so cool and so like yeah it's a group of assassins but uh yeah. i mean <laughs> they're really cool that the, the lore of that is that only it's just so good because there comes the butlers in which uh, it's really cool. Oh my gosh, that I think that was like a mini arc right there when uh, Gon uh, went to you know search for Kilua or something like that. I think yeah, it, went, yeah. it was basically like somewhat like it. It's important for later on because yes. you know like obviously we'll revisit that and whatnot, but. Uh, yeah, it's, I don't want to say filler, but it was, right. like, leading up to the next arc. Totally, yeah. Um, I mean, that, that arc was, uh, I think it was in the old one, too. If I'm not yeah, mistaken. I think they were yeah. in both. It's, it's, 
it's important enough to the story that it, I feel like they would not cut it out. Yeah. Um, they cut out some things that they thought like uh, would make sense, like this this character like not showing him at the beginning of the 2011 anime makes sense in certain aspects of like most of the story but it like later on when this character is revealed again um you have no idea who the fuck he is but it's treated as if you do know who he is yes <laughs> exactly know? exactly so that's the like the one like inconsistency and like why it's not like good and you know people hate like changes to the source material anyway you know everyone wants kind of like the raw like same experience exactly exactly so to talk about yeah yeah oh i was just gonna say i love the character doing one or not what sun tractor <laughs> yes yeah, so um so have... uh, the um so what's your favorite arc since we are you know getting into the arcs and sagas of this series what's your favorite arc though the absolute favorite just because of the theme has to be the greed island arc um it's so different from what i expected totally different (laughs) and i feel like it was at a time like it's i want to say it's semi VR inspired the way it works, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, because like uh, like it just involves a video game. Video you know? game. I don't exactly. want to talk too much about it. Yeah. Want everyone <laughs> to experience themselves. But uh, it, it, when I watched that, like uh, you know, it was really heavy into video games and the other like animes that were doing the whole VR AR thing. The talk of Oculus Rift was coming out, you know. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh man, this is so exciting! Like, oh, uh, it's it's great and like. It, there were so many new powers and like different characters introduced at that same time and a lot of like the the rate at which the characters increased in strength like just skyrocketed all of a sudden you know like everyone went to being like pretty decently strong to like overpowered strong exactly, <laughs> yes in that one arc so it was like really cool intense and it got really gory at that arc too yes like I think that's that when was, the like the uh, violence meter like cranked it up. A yeah, few I think that in that arc, I think they changed even the the day uh, the episodes got released. I think it it, it went to Imagine. from Saturdays to uh, I think it was Tuesdays. Yeah, Tuesday so, or Wednesday or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. So maybe it was uh, like a more like less children filled time. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Because they. It got really violent, like yeah. really, like it was already like creepy before then, like just a little bit. But it wasn't until that arc where I was like, uh, hmm, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, another thing, uh, bricking. I've heard that uh, uh, is Togashi his name? Like, yeah, Togashi. Yeah, the, uh, Yoshihiro right. Togashi. Yeah, uh, people say he has like a fetish with people's arms getting cut off. Because it'll happen a lot in this anime. <laughs> Just to warn you. There's an there's a whole montage of it on YouTube as well. It's weird because on Yu Yu Hakusho, there there is, I don't think there's a lot of you know uh, cutting uh, arms off or anything like that. <laughs> Unless if I miss it out because I, I don't know I've seen that anime a lot. But <laughs> you know that's pretty funny though. But, but you you agree with me, right? Yeah, there's yeah, like yeah, yeah. Times, like there's like a few times where it's like, oh fuck, that was an accident, and then a few times where it's like, okay, that wasn't an accident. You purposely like tore your arm off. Yeah. Like, you <laughs> like you're not human anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I think I mean uh, Togashi and his you know religion also because he's a uh, he also has a. Uh, it's cold or something. No, it's not cold. It's uh, oh my gosh, what's this? Uh, the you think he's Buddhist or something? Yeah, he's a Buddhist. Yeah, he's a Buddhist. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's a that's a thing. Um, and uh, if you see a lot of you know Buddhism references, it's because he he actually you know believes in all that. And uh, right, right. Yeah, there there, like... there's, there's a lot. <laughs> There's one scene in specific that I'm thinking of that, yeah, there's like, yeah. 
um, the whole uh, I can't remember what it's called, but there's a character who firmly believes in Buddhism. Like, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. So, um, my favorite arc will be the ant arc, the Kimara ant. Yeah, that's like that's up there for me too. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, holy freaking crap, man! That is the most. That is that is where all these characters like, man, is this is this even competing with Dragon Ball Z right now? <laughs> like in power wise, and it, it, even the animation got even better. I mean, yeah. oh, Jesus Christ, this arc and it, it got even violent. I mean, even the dialogue got violent. <laughs> I, I think there was this character. I won't mention it because it will be spoiler that um. Um, these chimera ants, you know, eat something else too. I mean, uh, they just don't eat animals. They eat, you know, humans too. And uh, he was talking to a human and he actually told him, well, you don't actually feel uh, that empathy when you're killing an animal. I was like... Yeah, there's a lot of yeah, like, damn, existentialism <laughs> and like questions thrown at you about yeah. stuff like, huh. You make an interesting point. Like you're wrong. <laughs> exactly. But... Like, oh my god, this is uh. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's and, and interesting. You, yeah, and you, you cannot like, but no, it's he, he's, you know, that character is you know telling something that is a, it's a fact, and that is why I like this anime because it confronts you a lot, um, and uh, this this arc in particular it had so so many good fights in there. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Let, let's start from, uh, you know, what is your favorite fight through the whole series, Shinja? Ooh. I gotta think about that one for a little bit because, like, there, there's gotta be quite a few. Um, like, my favorite fight has to be from the Ant arc. Uh, specifically, uh, Gon versus, um, uh, Pito, yeah, whatever her name is. Yeah, Nipper Pito, and, something like that. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, like the other one is uh, that guy that we were talking about the the yeah the hunter that's like a Buddhist almost mm -hmm, yeah uh, against the king. Netero, right? Like, yeah, Netero, right? That's the same. Netero versus the the Ant King. That was. Holy amazing shit, the yeah. animation is so beautiful yeah. even the narrator like, the antarch has like <laughs> yeah the antarch has like some of the best battles yes uh some of the more creative battles uh they take place during the licensing period and like uh uh when they start discovering nen which is like the mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the key the chakra yeah, the exactly. stuff in this nen. world <laughs> It's really yeah. more complex than just all of those. It's just extremely blown out. Like, oh my gosh, this is compl This is it's complicated to understand itself. So yeah, continue. Yeah. <laughs> so it has to be around those. I'm sure there's a few in Greed Island that I really like. Yeah. Uh, but I I can't remember too many of them. I remember there's a bowling episode. No, it's not bowling. It's like the dodgeball. Volleyball. Was it the dodgeball? Dodgeball yeah. or. Volleyball, I think it was a, a dodgeball. Like the dodgeball, I, that's the most thing that I remember. Yeah, so it's like, it's not really a fight, but like, it, it, it's a fight because it's oh, life yeah. or death, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it, it, that was really interesting to see. Totally. So, um, yeah. so my favorite fight will be, uh, I think it was Kilua versus this guy that had many, a lot of eyes in his body. And... He had like four or five arms or something. What was his name again? He was an ant. He was a. It, this was an ant arc. And uh, this is where Kilua gained his, um, you know, uh, some type of transformation. And Jesus freaking Christ, it looked amazing. And this is where he gained his Godo Speedo. Where he makes. Was this, this is in Greed Island, right? No, this is the. And arc <laughs> really okay because it was one of the two where it was just like he, he like became a total badass all oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the, i mean he was already a badass yeah he was a, he was a badass from the beginning of the series 
<laughs> so um Kilua himself he he actually uh gained this and mixed wind with electricity speed and it's just like yep. man this is so amazing and how they explain the stuff here the narrator actually explaining what actually you know makes him fast and makes him faster and stronger wow that battle oh my gosh I, it was jesus christ and uh I, it's just, I'm really fanning out because it's a, uh, his transformation is really cool, and it's in in a lot of games today. I mean, just in one game, which is uh, yeah. J Stars and yeah. Yeah, so, I don't think Hunter Hunter has its own fighting game. No, I mean, PSP. I think that's an adventure game, but uh, yeah. So um, there's this other battle, you know, Gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gone versus versus uh, Pito, yeah, that holy freaking yeah, no. that like it's like almost the epitome of the anime. Yeah. Yes, that's. Like, uh, I mean, I was waiting for that moment because I saw that moment in, on the manga. I was like, I need to see this in animation. <laughs> I cannot die unless I see this animation. <laughs> unless I see this animated. Think, oh my god! If you think Dragon Ball has crazy hair animation. Uh, or like transformations. They're not the only Wait ones. Until you see Hunter Hunter. <laughs> oh my God, that is that is even taller than the freaking World Trade Center, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, like you 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 make like people make jokes and memes about like, oh yeah, the bigger your hair, like the the higher your power level. Yeah, exactly, like, no, exactly. That that was the case. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was beyond the beyond. <laughs> It's like you couldn't even see the end of it. It's like, okay, this is now you're just taking a shit on me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> totally, totally. Um, and uh, let's see, there's another fight, of course, the uh, Netero versus the Yang. That that was, whoo, even the details and the uh, because it's not just you know fists and you know and kicks. This is. Hunter x Hunter, uh, you know, battles and fights in martial arts is very, very different from Dragon Ball and those other shonen, which is martial arts. They they take it to a next level. Togashi himself just, you know, he's just really a good writer. And uh, when he writes about martial arts and, you know, and he mixes it with, with these kinds of stuff, it's just amazing because it's, uh, it's creating the martial arts and art. Because it's not just... Uh, um, like I said, fists and, and kicks, this is more of your state of mind. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's like a chess game, a checkmate. It's something like that. It's, uh, it's a battle between minds also. It's, uh, because these, these are, these are, uh, martial artists that are very smart. Uh, yeah. And, such as the uh, Ant King and Netero. Netero is the, I think he is, or he is the uh, the strongest hunter, right? Netero, yeah. Yeah, he is the, and he's very old. He. <laughs> it's like either he was, or he's the strongest, or like, well, I don't think they ever said there was anyone stronger than him. Like everyone agreed that like if Netero couldn't win, no one could, you know. Exactly. Exactly. Um, but uh yeah uh it, it 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 the fights really like they're more there's more strategy yeah, and more, more strategy, multiple yeah. moves like thought of ahead than like one would think um and they make a parallel like on that like in the ant part there's uh constantly um making a like a callback to like uh one of the characters playing uh what's well, not shogi uh, but it's like no, maybe it is shogi. It's it's some sort of chess-like game. Yeah, a lot of uh, Japanese uh, play that. Yeah, but I don't know if it was shogi because it was uh, like I, I almost want to say it was uh, what's that game with the black and white chips that you like take uh this. Uh, there. I don't want to say like it's like connect four or something. Yeah. <laughs> Checkers. No, it's not checkers. <laughs> <laughs> but you stack them or No, you don't stack them. You like uh like someone has a 
like a row of white chips and you on either end you put a black chip and all of a sudden those chips become black like, i don't oh, think it's okay. that no okay okay yeah i know which one you're talking about. I, I don't think it because i really don't remember i it's some sort of board yeah, game a, there was a lot of strategy I think it's the, the the same game that asuma and uh uh oh my god asuma it, and, it might be yeah you know who i'm talking like about right Shogi, yeah. yeah but yeah it might be shogi after all because like they do this whole thing where like so during the oh my ant island arc they uh yes indeed they, they show off like a communist state which like it's kind of like north korea basically in this world mm -hmm. yeah yeah and so they have like the the world's best player or whatever gets kidnapped or whatever to play against the the ant king or whatnot indeed um but yeah all and right guys uh, it, it... yeah well, I was just gonna say, in any case, it's it's a very well thought out anime, especially the fights. Oh yes, like, indeed, it's. Uh... You will constantly be in the fighter's mind. Exactly. So guys, uh, please watch this anime. Uh, it only has like one hundred. The two thousand eleven one has like one hundred and fifty ish. You know, uh, something yeah, like that. Yeah, around those. Around, around those. Like and... the the Antarch starts around a hundred. Like around there, like a yeah, hundred, yeah, maybe yeah. earlier or later, but it, it's you, you. If you watch one episode a week, you could finish it in two years, you know, or yeah. uh, two and a half. If you, uh, if you're gonna watch more, which you probably will, because who the heck stops at one when you have like everything there? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, you can finish it with a friend in like a month or two. Yeah. Yeah, of course. And fully recommended, and, and of course, uh, you can actually watch the 1998 one, which is really cool, and it has its own anima animation back in the day. And uh, yeah, yeah, guys, um, please don't forget to favorite, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for supporting the channel. This has been Zara Punky, and this is Shinja from Karibu Kai Play, and we'll see you guys later. Bye.